What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. Today we have something really, really cool for you. The other day while I was camping with Matt, I bumped into some daytime lobster. So I brought those back. Sam is gonna do a catch and cook with them. She's gonna make some kind of awesome lobster risotto. If you haven't seen that video from the epic camping trip, I'll link it up on top here. Check these guys out, guys. Beautiful lobster here, daytime lobster out here in Hawaii. Stay tuned, I'll play that footage underwater for you first and then we'll get into the cooking. So even with all the time that I spent out here in Hawaii and I spend in the water and I spend looking for lobster, daytime lobster are like unicorns to me. I almost never ever find them. I've probably only caught a couple in my entire time out here hunting in Hawaii. And even when I do see one during the daytime, this is usually how it goes. The Hawaiian lobsters out here in the Pacific are no joke. I mean, they make our little spiny lobsters in Florida look like wimps. Even when you manage to get a hold of them, half the time they seem to launch out of your hands. And if you do see one during the daytime, they'll put those antennas out and they'll really kind of outsmart you, no matter how hard you work to try and keep them from outsmarting you. I mean, they're a crustacean. I should be able to master these things. And if you look right here, you'll see he flips his tail sideways and manages to completely dodge my grab. In Florida, when we're diving shallow water, I usually use the snare. Pretty much everywhere else in the world where it's legal, I just shoot them, problem solved. Unfortunately, a lot of the ones out here in Hawaii do have eggs, so we don't wanna shoot them, we don't wanna take the females, and once you shoot it, you can't really tell. So like you can see right here, on the rare chance that I grab one during the day, they have eggs, and I have to let them go anyway. So I spearfish a lot, like a lot, like sometimes four or five, six days a week. So I've kind of got an unlimited supply of fish. What I do not have is lobster. These guys are my absolute favorite. So when I see one like this, I am determined to not screw it up and do whatever it takes to get that thing home to the fridge so we can cook that thing up. Now you can see right here, I am freaking pumped. This was so rare for me to find one during the day that's a male that doesn't have eggs, that's dumb enough to let me grab it. So I don't know what's been going on lately. I don't know if it's because I've been going to these super remote spots and I've been working so hard to get off the grid, but I've been seeing way, way more daytime lobster than I've ever seen before. You can see this guy just scuttling along like a little roach or something. And this is a technique I use kind of all over the world to grab bugs where I have to grab them. A lot of times when they back up into their corner, they're stuck. Like they can only go so far back. And if you need to move some stuff out of the way or really jam them back in there or use two hands to wrap around from one side to the other, you can kind of grab a hold of them and wiggle them out. <laughs> There's just nothing that takes my complete focus underwater anymore like a lobster, especially out here during the day, I can like already taste it and I'm determined not to screw it up. That's why I'm so, so excited anytime I'm out here and I manage to find one, especially a monster like this, another male, a beautiful bug, take him home, eat the legs, Sam's gonna make some kind of fantastic feast with him and it's just such a cool thing to do out here in Hawaii when you get way off the beaten path and you manage to find stuff like this. Yeah, I'm gonna toss him right in that hole. Good. <laughs> Thanks, man. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pop the tails off. I'm gonna use the antenna to actually clear out that poop chute. Then I'm gonna take them into Sam. She's gonna use the heads to kind of make a cool stock. We're gonna cook the meat separately and then I think we're gonna mix that in later. Now I'm just gonna pull the most of these guts out here and have a nice, fresh, clean lobster head for Sam to turn into some lobster stock. Cherry, bro. I've already started boiling the water. What I did was I added one cup of white wine to three cups of water. And now I'm just gonna add my lobster tails so the meat can cook. 
After about four minutes, the lobster tails are cooked just enough to get the meat out of the shells and we'll finish the rest off in the risotto at the end. Next, I'm adding a combination of carrot, celery, onion, and a little bit of tomato to the stock to add flavor. Ryan's gonna pull the meat out of the lobster tails and we're gonna put the shells back into the stock pot to give the stock flavor. I'll add salt, pepper, and one bay leaf and let it simmer for 20 minutes. While that's simmering, we're gonna chop up the lobster into bite-sized pieces and put the meat back into the fridge to chill. Check these legs out, guys. They look delicious. On these really big lobsters, you can actually eat the legs, which is awesome. They're kind of our favorite part. I had to really fight with that big one, so he lost a lot of his legs. Unfortunately, this is all we got. While the stock is finishing up, we're just gonna cut up the rest of the veggies that we're gonna use in the recipe. Garlic, onion, green onion, one shallot, and some cremini mushrooms. Sam, what did your recipe say about the mushrooms? I'm kind of mixing and matching two recipes, which I realize for a new cook, that might be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> but what's life without risk? So it calls for cremini mushrooms, one of the recipes, and then it doesn't say like when to put them in or how long they need to cook for. I don't really work with mushrooms very often, so this is definitely turning into an experiment. So guys, you guys don't know us that well, but we've been traveling the world for like the last six years, which means neither of us have like ever had a kitchen. So this is our first real kitchen and we're really starting to like learn how to cook. This is a whole learning experience in itself, but it's, it's turned out, it's been pretty awesome. The recipes we've been making, Sam's been on Pinterest every day coming up with some kind of new recipes. A lot of you guys have been throwing them in from Instagram, which has been awesome. She's crushing it, guys. Well, the onions. Or maybe this is just to cover up because Ryan makes me cry. <laughs> oh my god, my eyes! Also, I'm aware that I don't know how to cut anything. Lobster stock is ready to strain. One thing that's super important when you're making risotto is that you need a wide pan with like tall sides. A tablespoon of olive oil. Now this is a Sam meal. Obsessed with pasta, risotto, rice, potatoes, carbs of pretty much any kind. Some girl isn't though. Probably too much, so I'm not gonna add all of it. But white wine in. One of the tricks with risotto is that it needs a lot of stirring. That's what gives it its creamy flavor. I was going through a couple recipes trying to decide which one to use, and there was one that asked for, I'm gonna butcher this, mascarpone? Ma mascarpone? Don't do any type of cream at all because the rice itself is just gonna be so creamy. So this is our stock that we just made. One cup to start with, lots of stirring. Remember guys, with your remaining wine, pour yourself a glass. What are we gonna call this, guys? Should we have a separate, like, Samogram cooking with wine? This is my pretend cooking show. Guys, if you wanna see more of Sam cooking, let us know down in the comments below. Okay, so in total, my fake recipe, I think is gonna call for about three cups of this stock. After it's absorbed the first cup, we're just gonna keep adding more liquid a little bit of, at a time. Total cook time for this, once we start adding stock, is gonna be about 20 minutes. Guys, I wish you could smell, this smells incredible. And the secret to this is that lobster stock, and that's what gives the actual, whatever the stupid little rice things are, that's what gives it like that crazy seafoody taste. It smells epic, but I kind of want to add some more garlic. There's no such thing as too much garlic. It needs more liquid. Liquid it. It's not cooked all the way, right? Well, it's definitely not cooked all the way, but I, I think I'm gonna add the lobster meat, the lobster meat. You gotta cook? I'll put some in. It just soaks it right up, it's gone again. Okay, this is almost done. The lobster actually needs to cook for a couple of minutes. Oh my gosh, these are huge chunks of lobster. I'm sorry, I have too much lobster. It's pretty much done. I'm excited. We're gonna add butter, lemon zest, some pepper, and I'm gonna eat a bite. Mmm! Hey, what is this? Butter! More butter? I never have too much butter. What's that? Lemon zest, pepper. 
This is healthy, right? Super healthy. Definitely. We're training. For what? I don't know. Fishing. <laughs> oh my god. Where's my bike? Guys, that's incredible. Green onion's like the last thing we add. We're not really cooking it. It's just gonna wilt a little bit. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plate and we're gonna grate some Parmesan cheese. Say when. When? What do you mean when? There's no such thing as when. Keep going. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Guys, this is it. I think this is gonna be one of our favorite ones yet. Sammy, this is a winner. I think the lemon zest and the green onion at the end with the butter. Salmon. I think that's where like all the flavor came from. The stock had awesome flavor to begin with. The rice was coming up with really good flavor, but there's just something about this. Yay! We crushed it, Sam. Risotto has a bad like wrap for being hard, but really you need that those elements of the wide pan, lots of stirring, and lots of liquid. Guys, this was an awesome, awesome catch and cook. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching our Catch and Cook. We're gonna eat this risotto and we're gonna Netflix and chill and we'll see you next time.